Chuck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just an announcement before graduation begins. There is a photographer hired to capture all the moments on stage this morning, uh, as well as a videographer with three different cameras here to catch the kids coming on stage. As you know, it's a live-streamed event this morning, uh, as well as there will be a recording available online, and there will be a link on our home page, uh, web page there, so people can access that after graduation. Uh, the CDs from the morning photographs will be available and free to all graduates and available for pickup at the school between 9 and 11 on Tuesday, June 30th. You're welcome to take pictures, but please do so from your seats to respect social distancing. Thank you. At this time, I'd ask people to stand for the processional for our Three Oaks graduates.
Morning, everyone. Everyone can take a seat. Good morning, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, and our guests of honor, the 2020 graduates of Three Oaks Senior High School. My name is Jeff Clow, Principal of Three Oaks Senior High School. To the families of those graduating, congratulations to you. You know that your support through this process has made an enormous impact. I'm sure you're very proud of your children as they close this portion of their lives and prepare for the next steps. This is certainly not what we expected to start in school in September, what graduation would look like in June, let alone a month ago. We are disappointed that a traditional graduation couldn't take place, but are excited that this ceremony could occur today and add closure and to celebrate your accomplishments. But we know this year is very different and students are facing a lot of disappointment because of COVID-19. There isn't a lot we can say to make it better because the situation really just stinks. There's no other way to put it. Being disappointed about the situation is normal. Allow yourselves to have these feelings, but no, they won't last forever. Allow yourselves to be disappointed about what you missed over the last four months, yet still be grateful for what you have right now. Your ability and how you choose to react will be your finishing attributes and skills that will bode well for you in the future. Health and safety are the most important things to ensure you have many happy milestones. This is indeed another chapter of the book, Life is Not Fair, but there will be some silver linings. You just need to look for them. Maybe you'll find members of your family or friends. Maybe you'll appreciate what you have in a stronger way. As you travel the road of your future, enjoy the journey and embrace all your possibilities. So congratulations to the class of 2020. I would now call upon Trent Baker to address the class. Well, this sucks. You know, we've been at this for more than a decade. More than a decade. Learning to read, to write, socialize, make great friends and great enemies. And now, the show is over. The curtains cascade, the cast is called to take a bow on the cusp of thunderous applause. And you find yourself in a room the number of peers that you could nearly count on your fingers. Back in October, I shared a thought with you all about how teachers and parents have always loved to tell us about the real world. You know, you, you won't be able to get away with that in the real world, or when you get to the real world, this might come in handy. I thought it was just made up, like it was some buzzword that adults use to sound more experienced and wise than they might be. You're telling me that the world we've been living in is just some fantasy? Like there's some magic initiation into an entirely different reality once we finish school? I think it's pretty obvious now that I was wrong. <laughs> it has become quite clear that not only does the real world exist, but we are all unfortunate passengers on a bullet train heading straight for the eye of the storm. And what a welcome it has been. The novel coronavirus pandemic. Bet you could have guessed I'd be saying those words. All around us, everywhere we look, chaos ensues. Feels like the world is falling apart. There's no sugarcoating it as graduates. We've had it pretty rough. 
We came into a school with walls that were literally collapsing with power tools and fire alarms going off during the first exams, and now we're not even leaving because we've been home since March doing activities that hardly feel like the education we've come to know. I don't know what a high school graduation feels like, but I do know that it's probably supposed to be a little different than this. There are things in this world beyond anyone's control. To be treated of a grand celebration of such an important milestone by an invisible adversary, it sucks. We're finally ready to enter the world, but the world is simply not ready for us. It sucks. It's in gloomy situations that I often find myself remembering a line from Bob Ross on his show, The Joy of Painting. You gotta have opposites, dark and light, light and dark, continually in a painting. If you have light on light, you have nothing. If you have dark on dark, you basically have nothing. You know, it's like in life. You gotta have a little sadness once in a while to know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. Most of us are waiting on the good times. But the important thing to know is that they will arrive. Maybe not tomorrow, certainly not the next day. But someday, the good times will arrive. Can we please not let our entire high school legacy be summarized by coronavirus? Right now, it's basically the only notable experience that we, any of us are sharing. But remembering it like this would be an injustice to all the years we spent working to this point. High school is not just a disaster that took place at the end. High school is a whole lot more. It's arriving early and hearing the cacophony of horns blasting, echoing through the halls from the open band room door. It's the morning circuit that you take when your friends are MIA. You know the one. Walk by the library, turn the same direction every time you get to an intersection, go by the cafeteria, check over the railing, see if any of your pals are sitting, but not go so close as to draw attention because heaven forbid anybody notice you're looking for your friends. It's staring out the window of the bus before it departs and noticing that one guy who has heelys ripping down the pavement for the first time and later finding out he's an absolute limbo. God! shouts to Sammy. It's exclusively making eye contact with the teacher when giving a presentation because your classmates aren't the, give, give, aren't the ones giving you marks for where you're looking. It's being late after lunch because you were out on a real adventure with real friends. It's sharing a laugh, bringing up Webkins or Club Penguin or remember Tamagotchis, even though you know everyone misses when life was so simple. And it's the end of the day. And the bell goes, you either go to your locker or you exit the building because you would rather carry everything you own. You get in the car and the engine is running. You slowly exit the parking lot the wrong way and join the queue for a stop sign a few hundred meters away because the city's road infrastructure was designed 200 years ago by actual horses. And in that waiting moment, you stop and you look around you see that it's not just you. You are surrounded by people all on their way out. All leaving the school behind them, finally released from the loving embrace of their teachers, parents, and everyone else who is owed an eternal debt for their guidance. They take their memories with them and embark towards the future. The real world is mere moments away. It's in pain. Inequality, injustice, and the stupidity of humanity have never been more exposed and obvious. It will take time, and it will take effort. But if we can learn from the past, if we can live in the present, and continue looking forward, I assure you, I promise you, that the good times will arrive. For now, my fellow young folks, I want you to get up, to shake someone's elbow, grab your labeled piece of paper, because my friends, you just finished high school!
Thank you, Trent. My name is Gerald McCormick, and I'm one of the two vice principals at Three Oaks Senior High School. It is my pleasure to start introducing the graduates of 2020. Please hold your applause till all of the information has been read about the graduate. Alicia Marie Arsenault, daughter of Tammy McGinnis and Gerald Arsenault. Honors, French Immersion. Alicia receives Rural Municipality of Wellington Bursary, the Marine Atlantic Bursary, a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Bursary, a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governors Award, a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governors Renewable Bursary, a Royal Canadian Legion Branch No. 17 Wellington Scholarship, and a Consolidated Credit Union Scholarship. Alicia also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award and a VK to C in 50 Renewable Scholarship from the University of Prince Edward Island. Austin Brian Arsenault, son of Brian and Tracy Arsenault, French Immersion. Austin Samuel Arsenault, son of Rhonda Devlin and Pete Arsenault. Benjamin Lucas Arsenault, son of Bernadine Lemieux and Todd Baglow, Marcel Arsenault and Tracy Smith. Brandon Alexander Arsenault, son of Catherine Arsenault and Marcel Arsenault. Cameron Stephen Arsenault, son of Paul and Sherry Arsenault. Carson Nicholas Arsenault, son of Rhonda Arsenault and Chuck Arsenault. Honors, French Immersion. Carson receives a prize for success in the automotive program. <laughs> Jacob Fenton John Arsenault son of Tanya Boylan and Paul Arsenault. Jacob receives a Malpec Community Resident Grad Prize. Jillian Marie Yvonne Arsenault, daughter of Clarence and Carol Ann Arsenault. Honors. Jillian receives the Tosh Township Female Student Athlete of the Year for 2020 graduating class, a Three Oaks Senior High Student Council Leadership Bursary, and the Evangeline Central Credit Union Scholarship. Haley May Arsenault, daughter of Aaron Arsenault, Russell Purdy, and Greg Arsenault. Kaylee receives the highest standing in English 631, the second highest standing in her program of studies, and a James McNeil Three Oaks Senior High School Administrative Award. <laughs> William Isaac Arsenault. Jacob and Fenton. 
Isaac, that's who I just read. William Isaac? Yes, because it's William. William. William Isaac Arsno, son of Joey and Sherry Arsno, honors. Should get the shuffle though when they call it the name. They just put the front. Here we go. Trent Malcolm Baker. Son of Paul and Angela Baker, honors. Trent receives a prize for the highest standing in art 601 and the sixth highest standing in the academic program. Trent also receives a computer science entrance scholarship and a Dalhousie renewable entrance scholarship from Dalhousie University. <laughs> Brianna Lee Ballum daughter of Chris Arsno and Erica Ballum. Brianna receives a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Bursary. <laughs> Daniel Bradley Blair Banks, son of Debbie Banks and Russell Banks. Honors, French Immersion. Juliana Chelsea Banks, daughter Jimmy and Lindsay Banks. <laughs> Riley Sheldon Francis Barlow, son of Angela Barlow and Gus Shaw. Janie Amanda Beaton, daughter of Diane Hustis and Brian Beaton. Honors, French Immersion. Janie receives an Academic Achievement Award, a Marine Science Academy Diploma Program Certificate, a Community Service Bursary, and a 4-H Trust Cavendish Agra Scholarship. Janie also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Madison Lee Belair, daughter of Jason Belair, French Immersion. Madison receives a prize for the high standing in mathematics 621A, first semester. Mitchell Edmund Bernard, son of Claude and Eliza Bernard. Vincent Gregor Bernard, son of Aaron Scott and Misty Bernard. Robert Earl Betton, son of Robert and Joan Betton. Carly Kathy Bigger, daughter of Lee Bigger and Kathy Boylan. Honors, French Immersion. Carly receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Dalton Wayne Bigger, son of Wayne Bigger and Jessica Arsenault. <laughs> Abigail Tracy Birch daughter of Jason and Tracy Birch, honors. Abigail receives a prize for the highest, or try again, excuse me, outstanding effort and success in family living 621. <laughs> K. 
Kennedy Jane Boyd, daughter of Steve and Kelly Boyd. Joshua Walston Brown, son of Matthew and Treva Brown, honors. Taylor Ann Bryant Hunter, daughter of Tammy Bryant and Jeff Hunter, honors. Mark Joseph Burden Boofy, son of Rosanna Boofy. Mallory Grace Burns, daughter of Nathan and Wendy Burns. Honors, French Immersion. Mallory receives a prize for the highest standing in sociology, French Immersion 621, as well as an Academic Achievement Award. Mallory also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award and an Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship from the University of Prince Edward Island. Lance Luther Cadeg, son of Isabella Cadeg. Hannah Mendoza Cambella, daughter of Ria Mendoza, and Hannah receives a community bursary. Andrew James Cameron, son of James and Myra Cameron. Damien Bailey Cameron, son of Jennifer Hambly and Tyson Cameron. Damien receives a community service bursary and a Three Oaks Senior High School Scholastic Effort Award. <laughs> Jody Erica Cameron, daughter of Corinne McCarthy and Jason Cameron. Honors, French Immersion. Jody receives a Summerside Firemen's Association bursary and a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Scholarship. Jody also receives a Governor Thomas Carleton Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Alex Benjamin Campbell, son of Troy and Charlene Campbell, honors. Alex receives the prize for the highest standing in and success in Core French 621 an Academic Achievement Award, a Community Service Bursary, the North Shore Surf and Rescue Bursary, the Arthur and Melissa McDowell Scholarship, and the Daniel Barrett Memorial Bursary. Alex also receives a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship from Dalhousie University. Simon Dakota Campbell, son of Bernie and Cindy Campbell, honors. Dakota receives a prize for success in the carpentry program. <laughs> Danny Anthony Campbell, son of Vicki McCachran and Robert Campbell. Ryan John Campbell, son of John and Marion, Marilyn Campbell, honors. <laughs> Ryan receives a prize for the highest standing in calculus 611 and the 10th highest standing in the academic program. Ryan also receives a computer science alumni entrance scholarship and an Edwin Jacob Special University Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Karen Mary Frieda Campbell, daughter of Susan Doucet, honors French immersion. <laughs> Justin Barry Caron, 
daughter, sorry, son of Michael and Jennifer Carone. Justin receives the uh, Three Oaks Senior High School Township Male Athlete of the Year of the, year, uh, of the graduating class. Perfect. Natalie Jean Caron, daughter of Francois and Tanya Caron. Honors, French Immersion. Natalie receives a prize for the high standing in French Immersion 621, for outstanding effort and success in English 621, and the fifth high standing in the academic program. Natalie also receives a community service bursary, a PEI Mutual Education Trust Fund Centennial Scholarship, an Alumni Entrance Scholarship, and an Ed Edwin Jacob Special University Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Regan Hope Kaisley, daughter of Shelley McKay and Stephen Kaisley. Honors. Regan receives a Malpec Community Resident Grand Grad Prize as well as Celebrating Achievement Award and an H. Wade McLaughlin Raised Expectations Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <clears throat> Tyrell Joshua, Joshua Hector Chasson, son of Corey Adams and Katrina Chasson. <clears throat> Jaden Morse Chu, son of Stephanie Chu. Grace Elizabeth Sierra, daughter of Raphael and Kelly Sierra. Edward Gordon Clo, son of Judy Ashley and James Clo. Tanner McNally Clo, son of Jeff and Catherine Clo. Honors. Tanner receives a prize for the high standing in Physics 621, Mathematics 621B, and English 621. Outstanding effort and success in Chemistry 621, Biology 621, and Culinary 801. He received a semi-finalist certificate for the 2020 Lorne Award and a Certificate of Achievement for the Schulich Leader Scholarship. Tanner receives a Community Service Bursary, a BioVector Chemistry Prize, a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governor's Award, a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governors Renewable Bursary, a Consolidated Credit Union Scholarship, as well as a Three Oaks Senior High Consolidated Credit Union Community Leadership of the Year Award. Tanner also receives the J.P. McCarthy Renewable Scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Tanner receives the highest standing in the academic program. Tanner is the, also the Governor General's Academic Award recipient and is awarded to a student every year in a high school across Canada and is presented to the student, in this case, with the highest academic average in the graduating class based on the Governor General's specific criteria. The Gover Governor General's Academic Medal for Three Oaks Senior High School's Class of 2020 is awarded to Tanner Klo. Ethan Shane Clutterbuck, son of Shane and Renee Clutterbuck. Andrew James Cole, son of Jimmy and Harmony Cole, honors French immersion. Andrew receives a prize for the high standing in computers 621 and history 621. Andrew also receives a Dalhousie entrance bursary, a Dalhousie Entrance Scholarship, and a Computer Science Entrance Scholarship from Dalhousie University. <laughs> Sophia, 
Sophia Cameron Dalton, daughter of Mary Cameron and Sam Dalton. Honors, French Immersion. Sophia receives the Joshua Perseal Grady Memorial Bursary. Sophia also receives a Governor Thomas Carleton Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. Silas Ray's Dunmore Dean, son of Griffin Dunsmore and Sean Dean. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Demchuk, daughter of Craig and Angie Demchuk, honors. Catherine receives a prize for the top grade 12 student in Culinary 801. She receives a community service bursary the Muskush Legion Bursary, and a Consolidated Credit Union Scholarship. Catherine shares the seventh highest standing in the academic program. Catherine also receives a University of New Brunswick St. John Campus Scholarship and a Dr. Colin B. McKay Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Bailey Dawn Durash, daughter of Maria Blackear and Carl Durash. Honors. French Immersion. <laughs> Keegan Russell Durash, son of Jeff and Shelley Durash. Keegan receives a prize for success in the welding program, second semester, as well as community service bursary. Liam James Dixon, son of Catherine Dixon and Jim Dixon. <laughs> Mallory Catherine Marlene Doucette, daughter of Norman and Claire Doucette, French Immersion. Mallory receives a James McNeil Three Oaks Administrative Award and a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Bursary. Tyson Ryan Henry Doucette, son of Rodney and Sh Sheila Doucette. <laughs> Bethany Rose Doyle, daughter of Lorraine Doyle, honors. Bethany receives the Diane Gallant Memorial Bursary, the Style Award. Jane Catherine Doyle, daughter of Janice Carriker Doyle and Doug Doyle, honors. Jane receives a community service bursary, the City of Summerside Co-op Award. Jane also receives an entrance scholarship and the Mary Jane McCormick from Rock Barra PEI Entrance Scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. Amber Mackenzie Dyer, daughter of Steve and Mary Jane Dyer, honors. Amber receives the Jim Hogan Memorial Award, a community service bursary, Kern and Briggs Volunteer Bursary, a Three Oaks Senior High School Student Council Leadership Bursary, a Summerside Police Services Bursary, as well as the City of Summerside Heather Moise Award. Connell It's not on here. 
Connell Eric Diamond, son of Lee and Barb Diamond, honors French immersion. He receives the Evangeline ATV Award and a Marine Science Academic Diploma Program Certificate. Connell receives the third highest standing in the academic program. Connell also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award, an Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Scholarship, as well as an Ed and Pat Lawler Award in Mathematics and Computational, there we go, Sciences from the University of New Brunswick. From the University of Prince Edward Island. Chloe Jade Ellis, daughter of Cindy Diamond, Scott Ellis, Claudia Gamba, honors. Soren Simon Tennyson, England, son of Bill and Kim England, honors. Erin Mary Evans, daughter of Arthur and Sarah Willowachuk, honors. Aaron receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in political studies 6 to 1. Aaron re also receives a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Bursary. <laughs> Savannah Ellen Lynn Madison Ford, daughter of Leslie Ford and Jeremy Perry. Honors. Savannah receives a prize for outstanding effort and dedication. Zoe Amanda Rose Francis, daughter of Shannon Streit and Sean Francis, honors. <laughs> Olivia Austin Frost, daughter of Laura Mulligan and Nicholas Frost. <laughs> Connor Ryan Gallant, son of Lisa Hutchison. You reading? Okay. You didn't tell me. Jaden Page Glant, daughter of Jason and Kelly Glant, honors French immersion. Jaden receives the Agri Science Prize, a community service bursary, a Consolidated Credit Union extracurricular award, a 200 wing of RCAF Association Award a 3X Senior High Student Council Leadership Bursary, as well as the St. Ellers Lines and Line S Burst Club Bursary. Jaden also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award and the Frederick M. Davidson Award for Excellence from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Jonah Sampson Gallant, son of Tammy Gallant and Joe Gallant, French Immersion. Caitlin Michelle Glant, daughter of Tammy Glant and Ricky Glant, honors. <laughs> Katie Lauren Glant, daughter of Julie Cormier and Jeremy Glant, honors. Katie receives a prize for the highest standing in political studies 6 to 1 first semester, as well as an academic achievement award and a Three Oaks Senior High School Scholastic Effort Award. Katie also receives a UNB St. John Scholarship and a William and Lois Payne Founder Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Kennedy Keir Gallant, son of Kenny and Tracy Gallant, honors. Kennedy receives a prize for success in the co-op program. Lauren Marie Gallant, daughter of Dwayne and Denise Gallant, honors. Lauren receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in transition 602. <laughs> Parker Ryan Claire Gallant, son of Jackie Gallant and Jonathan McNeil, French immersion. 
Parker receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in Mathematics 801. Parker also receives a Prince Edward Island Automotive Dealers Association Entrance Award and an Automotive Technology Award from Holland College. Stacy Lee Gallant, daughter of David and Lori Gallant, honors. Sydney Lee Gallant, daughter of Beverly Tuplin and Ricky Gallant, honors French immersion. Sydney receives a prize for the highest standing in biology 621 for a semester, peer helping 601 for a semester, as well as an academic achievement award. The Kathleen Williams Bursary, a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Scholarship, and the PEI School Athletic Association Top Female Athletic or Athlete in Academics. Sydney also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award, an Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Award, and a Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship from the University of Prince Edward Island. Tate Jesse Allen Gallant, son of Travis and Christine Gallant. Tyler Michael Gallant, son of Mike and Bernadine Gallant, honors French immersion. Brianna Elizabeth Jane Gallant Smith, daughter of Robin Gallant and Jason Smith. Drake Ryan Goody, son of Amy Arsenal. Hillary Dawn Goody, daughter of Stephen and Kendra Goody, honors. Hillary receives the Summerside Area Minor Hockey Association Bursary, a Dr. C. Duane Mullen Scholarship, and the Reverend J. Merrill McLeod Scholarship. Hillary also receives an entrance scholarship from St. Francis Xavier University. <laughs> Rory Mark Goody, son of Mike and Karen Goody. Dylan Fulton Gilfoy, son of Amanda Steele and Chris Gilfoy. Honors, French Immersion. <laughs> Jane Minru Gillis, daughter of Ian and Kathy Gillis. Honors, French Immersion. Jane receives a prize for the high standing in music instrumental 621, chemistry 621 first semester, she was a semi-finalist for the 2020 Lauren Award, receives a community service bursary, as well as an R. Alexander Horn Scholarship. Jane receives the second highest standing in the academic program, and Jane also receives a Dalhousie Renewable Entrance Scholarship from Dalhousie University. Juliana Skye Gillis, daughter of Jeff and Natasha Gillis, honors. <laughs> Colin Daniel Goodwin, son of Dan and Patty Goodwin. Nicholas Evan Gunning, son of Christine Burlock and Donald Gunning. <laughs> Fairhead Samuel Dara Tom Ha Lamusa, son of Genevieve Quivlin, French immersion.
Tristan J.C. Hall, daughter of Andrew and Stephanie Chapman. Son. Okay. Lydia Lee Hemphill, daughter of Brenda Benson and Jeff Hemphill. Honors, French immersion. That's why I read it. Taylor Alexander Holland, son of Crystal Holland and Mark McDonald. Irish Belle Della Rocca Holpus, daughter of Olivia and Ami Holpus, honors. <laughs> Irish, Irish receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Emma Catherine Hines, daughter of Barry and Angela Hines, honors. French Immersion. Emma receives a prize for the High Standing Environmental Studies 621, an Academic Achievement Award from, and a Community Service Bursary. Emma also receives a William and Lois Payne Founder Scholarship from the University of Prince Edward Island. We'll skip on the next guy. Connor Allen Inman, son of Thomas and Kathy Campbell and David Inman. Jesse Charlie Enman, daughter of Brian and Caroline Enman, honors. Jesse receives a prize for the highest standing in biology 801 and a 200 wing RCAF Association Award. Hunter Graham Irvin, Irving, son of Christy Richard and Sean Irving. Maggie Jane Johnston, daughter of Kimball and Julie Johnston, honors. Meg receives a Malpec Bay Credit Union Scholarship and a Consolidated Credit Union Scholarship. Samuel Andrew Jones, son of Sean and Tracy Jones. Clarence Draven Kowalski Quigley, son of Sarah Kowalski and grandson of Mike and Debbie Kowalski, honors. Draven receives a prize for the high standing in mathematics 801 first semester, the Hot Rod Association Award, and the Summerside Rotary Club Strive Scholarship. Draven also receives a St. Paul's Head Start Entrance Award and a Princess Auto Foundation Entrance Award from Holland College. Alicia Dawn Kuypers, daughter of Randy and Stacy Kuypers, honors. Alicia receives a Ward Chipman Founder Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Landry, daughter of Joan Landry, Carmen and Sharon Landry, honors. Megan receives the Blaine Compton Memorial Bursary Megan also receives a Samuel Holland Entrance Scholarship from Holland College. <laughs> Chandler James G Gordon Dean LaPierre, son of Alyssa LaPierre and Luke Lawson. Alexandra Josephine Jean Lee, daughter of Greg and Tara Lee, honors. Alexandra receives a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Bursary. She also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> T 
Karen Raymond Murphy Lewis, son of Terry and Christine Arsno and Chris Lewis. Honors. Terry receives a community service bursary. He also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Connor Stephen Lilly, son of Ian and Carol Lilly, honors. Connor receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Lauren Kristen Lilly, daughter of Ian and Carol Lilly, honors. Lauren receives the Female Athlete of the Year from Tosh, Tosh Athletics. Okay, my name is Jason Glant, and I'm one of the two vice principals here at Three Oaks Senior High School. It is my pleasure to start introducing our fourth groups of graduates for the year of 2020. Please hold your applause until all the information has been read about each graduate. Nathaniel Daniel Lechinsky, child of Veronica Laidlaw and Paul Lechinsky. <laughs> Aliyah Jane Lynch, daughter of Crystal Lynch and Tim Milligan, French Immersion. Morgan Joy Lynch, daughter of Trevor and Corey Lynch, honors, French Immersion. <laughs> Colby James MacArthur, son of Rodney and Kim MacArthur, honors, French Immersion. <laughs> Murphy Kent MacArthur, son of Kent and Laura Lee MacArthur, honors, Murphy receives the High Standing Robotics 801, an Academic Achievement Award, a Community Service Bursary, and a Consolidated Credit Union Scholarship. Murphy also receives a National Entrance Scholarship from Memorial University. <laughs> Madeline Sophie McDonald, daughter of Michelle Parent McDonald and Willard McDonald. Honors, French Immersion. Matter receives a prize for the High Standing in Dramatic Arts 621 and the Consolidated Credit Union School Spirit Award. Maddie also receives a Ward Chapman Founder Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Benjamin Everett McDougall, son of Dale and Krista McDougall, honors French Immersion. Ben receives the Male Athlete of the Year from Tosh Athletics. Jackson Thomas McDougall, son of Chris and Sherry McDougall, honors. Dylan Braven Cole McFarland, son of Alan Woods, French Immersion. Giles Damian Casey McGinnis, son of Crystal Arsenal and Jeff McGinnis. Blake Leo McIntyre, son of David and Kendra McIntyre, honors. Blake receives the highest standing in his program of studies. Dustin James Donald McKay, son of Martina McKay. Isabella Alexandria McKay, daughter Leanne Moyer and Glenn McKay, honors. Isabella receives a prize for the outstanding effort and success in Mathematics 621A. <laughs> Megan Alexandra McKay, daughter of Jonathan and Kelly McKay, honors. Megan receives a prize for the highest standing in Hospitality and Tourism 801, Leadership 621. Megan also receives a Kernan and Briggs Volunteer Bursary, the Hazel Gillis Award, 
a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governors Award, a St. Dunstan's University Board of Governors Renewable Bursary, and a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Scholarship. Logan James McKenzie, son of Troy and Michelle McKenzie, French Immersion. Logan receives a Community Service Bursary and a Duke of Edinburgh Award. Blake Lawrence McKinnon, son of Julie McKinnon and Shannon McKinnon. Blake receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in the automotive program and the Wayne Rayner Memorial Bursary. Ryan William McKinnon, son of Louise Arsno and Brian McKinnon. Ryan receives an award for outstanding effort and success in the cohort program. Lauren Elizabeth McLean, daughter of Philip and Natalie McLean, honors. <laughs> Colin John McClellan, son of John and Melanie McClellan, French immersion. George Jacob Madumba, son of Kenesha Conrad and Chris Brown, honors. George receives a prize for success in the carpentry program first semester and the PEI Industrial Technologies Association Bursary. <laughs> Emily Lorinda Lynn Mahar, daughter of Stacey Klo, Evan Klo, and Russell Mahar. Jasmine Laura Mahar, daughter of Amanda Mahar. Jessica Amber Mahar, daughter of Amanda Mahar. Jordan Faithful Nay Mann, daughter of Greg and Sandra Mann, honors. Jordan receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in Global Issue 621 and Music 801. She receives an Academic Achievement Award and a Community Service Bursary. Jordan also receives an Acadia Excellence Scholarship from Acadia University. Samson Mazarabakiza, son of Dias Mazarabakiza, and Magdalena Hayaramana, French Immersion. <laughs> Demi Alberta Matheson, daughter of Angela Matheson and Andrew Matheson. Honors, French Immersion. Mary Elizabeth Matheson, daughter of Jamie and Mona Matheson, honors. She receives a community service bursary, a Kernan and Briggs volunteer bursary, and a consolidated credit union scholarship. Elizabeth receives the fourth highest standing in the academic program. Elizabeth also receives a Dalhousie Renewable Entrance Scholarship and a Dalhousie Entrance Community and Leadership Award from Dalhousie University. Destiny Lynn McEvin, daughter of Melissa McEvin, honors. <laughs> Brianna Catherine McArdle, daughter of Tim and Kimberly McArdle, honors. Kieran Ace McCloskey, child of Wayne and Melissa McCloskey. <laughs> Ray 
Margaret Elizabeth McCormick, daughter of Jennifer McMillan and Corey McCormick. Carly Mae McCourt, daughter of Ryan Lauren McCourt, honors, French immersion. Carly receives a community service bursary, a Kernan and Briggs volunteer bursary. She also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Edmund Aubrey McNeil, son of Dwayne McNeil. <laughs> Isabel Marie McNeil, daughter Peter and Christine McNeil, honors, French immersion. Isabel receives a community service bursary, the Friends of the Aptex Center George T. Clark Memorial Bursary, as well as a Helen Glenn Memorial Music Award. Isabel also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Paige Joan Painter McQuaid, granddaughter of the late Joan Newell, French Immersion. Sydney Laura Meisner, daughter of Bill and Bresna Meisner, honors, French immersion. Sydney receives a community service bursary, a Kernan and Briggs volunteer bursary, an official language study fellowship bursary, and a Cavendish Farm scholarship. Sydney also receives an Acadia Excellent Scholarship from Acadia University. Matthew Alexander Meister, son of Ken and Jenny Meister, honors. Matthew receives a PEI Military Family Resource Center bursary, as well as a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Anne Sophie Merckx, daughter of Eddie Merckx. Cassie Ray Milligan, daughter James and Laura Milligan. Aaron Elizabeth Milligan, daughter Julie Milligan and Albert Milligan. Honors. Aaron receives a prize for the highest standing in Transitions 602 first semester. Aline Pine Mose, daughter of Graham Mose and V. Ballon, honors, French immersion. Aline receives a community service bursary. <laughs> Megan Corey Lynn Mose, daughter of Philip and Amanda Mose, French immersion. Aiden Rodney Moore, son of Rodney Michelle Moore, honors. Aiden receives a prize for the high standing in Core French 621 first semester, a Tosh Scholastic Effort Award, and a Summerside Rotary Club Strive Scholarship. Aiden also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Nathaniel Liam Bruce Mueller, son of Rob Barrett and Katharina Mueller, French Immersion. <laughs> Cole Joseph Mugridge, son of Steve and Roanne Rose Ann Mugridge. Connor Christopher Peter Murphy, son of Chris and Nancy Murphy, honors. Connor receives a prize for success in the aviation program, a community service bursary, and an Aviation Academy Diploma Program Certificate.
Ryan Patrick Murphy, son of Sean and Fawn Murphy, honors. Cameron Stephen Murray, son of Crystal McNeil and Stephen Murray. Kylie Lynn Murray, daughter of Tracy Wedge and Adrian Murray, honors. Kylie receives a prize for the third highest standing in her program of study. Parker Robert Murray, son of Milo and Wendy Murray. Parker receives a community service bursary. Larsam Aziz Musliu, son of Kuyitam and Flora Musliu, honors. <laughs> Hannah Catherine Myers, daughter of Deborah Reed and Dean Myers, honors. Ali Sajad Nakvi, son of Shabay Sayada and Dr. Syed Nakvi. Jillian Lee O'Brien, daughter of Nicole Gallant and Joey O'Brien, honors French Immersion. Jillian receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Caleb Thomas Francie O'Vary, son of Tommy Francis and Jamie O'Vary, French Immersion. Cody Janet May Palmer, granddaughter of Hollis and Janice Thompson. <laughs> Caitlin Emma Mary Paw, daughter of Mary Bradford and Brad Paw, honors, French immersion. Quinn receives a prize for the highest standing in English 611, as well as an academic achievement award. Quinn also receives an entrance scholarship from Memorial University. Amelia Rose Perry, granddaughter of Dennis and Louise Delaney. Amelia receives a Tosh Scholastic Effort Award. Haley Scott Phillips, daughter of Sean Phillips. Calum Kyle Pino, son of Kyle and Jillian Pino, honors. Calum receives a prize for success in the welding program first semester, as well as the T.J. Myers Memorial Bursary. Calum also receives a Princess Auto Foundation Entrance Award from Holland College. Alyssa Claire Josie Pollock, daughter of Sharon Pollock, honors. Alyssa receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island.
Kendra Marie Woodert Pye, daughter of Chris Pye and Jen Thompson, honors. John Austin Quinlan, son of Heidi Quinlan and Paul Quinlan. Jillian Elizabeth Reeves, daughter of Tanya Reeves. <laughs> Stephen Cole Boyle Richards, son of Angela Boyle. Kaylee Jennifer Rio, daughter of Melissa Higgins and Jason Rio, French Immersion. <laughs> Sierra Elizabeth Ricks, daughter of Jolene Wedge and Kevin Ricks. Sierra receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Megan Sabrina Roger, daughter of Shauna Chisholm and Phil Roger. Honors, French Immersion. Megan receives a Community Service Bursary and a Marine Science Academy Diploma Program Certificate. Megan also receives a William and Lois Payne Founder Scholarship from the University of New Brunswick. <laughs> Meredith K. Rogers, daughter of Glenn and Melanie Rogers. Honors. Matricia Maureen Dermesa Roma, daughter of Arvin and Mercy Roma, honors. Trisha receives the high standing global issue 621. Trisha also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Mackenzie Elizabeth Karen Josie Royer, daughter of Jamie and Heidi Royer. Sydney Ann Ryan, daughter of Kathy Hickman. <laughs> Lauren Olivia Shepherd, daughter of Darlene Grady and Blair Shepherd, honors. Cody Gordon Silliker, son of Tammy Phillips and David Silliker, honors. Cody receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Sahib Singh, son of Harmony Dillon and Arvind Singh, honors. Sahib receives a prize for the highest standing in accounting 621. Sahib also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Hannah Lynn Smith, daughter of Deborah Smith. <laughs> Julia Carey Teresa Smith, daughter of Wade and Brenda Smith, honors. Julia receives a prize for outstanding effort and success in peer helping 601 and a community service bursary. Julia also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Katie Elizabeth Smith, daughter of Trevor and Bethany Smith. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Smith, daughter of Claire Casey Smith and Chris Smith, honors, French Immersion. Megan receives a Community Service Bursary, the Land McDowell Poetry and Creative Writing Award, and an Official Language Study Fellowship Bursary. Megan also receives the ninth highest standing in the academic program. Jack Luther Summers, son of Corey and Sandra Summers, honors. Jack receives an Academic Achievement Award, the Kernan Briggs Engineering Award, 
and the PEI School Athletic Association Top Male Student Athlete and Academics Award. Jack also receives the Tosh True Sportsmanship in Life and Sport Award. Mackenzie Jody Ann Stanfield, daughter of Troy and Angela Sproul and Travis Gallant. Clark William Stavard, son of Melanie Clark and Marvin Stavard. Trey Ann Taha, daughter of Sufian and Katam Taha, honors. Ann receives a community service bursary and a 200 wing of RCAF Association Award. <laughs> Abby Ray Taylor, daughter of Peggy Taylor and Kent Taylor, French immersion. Dylan Ryan Thomas, son of Glenn and Crystal Thomas, honors. <laughs> Choli Bryn Thompson, daughter of Jamie and April Thompson, honors. Choli receives a community service bursary and a Summerside Firemen's Association bursary. Gemma Abby Thompson, daughter of Derek and Kim Thompson, honors, French Immersion. Jenna receives a Celebrating Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. Charleston Gordon J. Chung Turner, son of John Turner and Carolyn Rowe Turner, honors French Immersion. <laughs> Christopher Finn Wing Chung Turner, son of John Turner and Carolyn Rowe Turner, honors French Immersion. Finn receives a community service bursary and the John Callback Memorial Bursary. Calvin Than Van Nugent, son of Dee Miranda Singleton and Jeremy Singleton. <laughs> Anne Jasmine Kamua Villamore, daughter of Irving and Marjorie Villamore, honors. Jasmine receives the Summerside Y Service Club bursary in honor of Marilyn Linkletter. Brody Christopher Wrens, son of Chris and Jennifer Wrens. <laughs> Katie Ann Wrens, daughter of Andrea Pickett and Kevin Wrens, honors. <laughs> Marley Jane Wadman, daughter of Trevor and Jane Wadman, French Immersion. Keegan Joseph Waite, son of Kristen Waite. Keegan receives a prize for success in the aviation program and an Aviation Academy Diploma Program Certificate. <laughs> Destiny Don Warren, daughter of Jennifer Warren and Jeremy Bernard. Philippa Jane Wars, daughter of Peter Wars and Caitlin Davies, French Immersion. <laughs> Lynn, 
Amadia Lilia Jean Wedge, daughter of Pam Goody and Kenton Wedge, honors French immersion. Amadia receives a community service bursary, the David Rowland Voy Memorial Bursary, a PEI Mutual Education Trust Fund Centennial Scholarship, a Dr. C. Dwayne Mullen Scholarship, and the Tosh Athletic Council Award. Amadia shares the seventh highest standing in the academic program. Amadia also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award, an Alexander Bradshaw Campbell Entrance Award, and the Ethel B. Brennan Nursing Scholarship from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Sherry Leanne Wedge, daughter of Randy and Juan Rhonda Wedge, honors. Kaya Pauline Whalen, granddaughter of Alfred Peters. <laughs> Chloe Sheila Woods, daughter of Justin and Krista Woods, honors French Immersion. Chloe receives the Community of Muskush Resident Award. Mason Bradley Frazier Works, son of Brad and Judy Works, honors French Immersion. Mason receives a Community Service Bursary. Mason also receives a Celebrating Student Achievement Award from the University of Prince Edward Island. <laughs> Madeline Rose Wright, daughter of Ricky and Cheryl Wright. <laughs> Emily Pauline Tess Wiley. Daughter of Bob and Tanya Wiley, honors. <laughs> Carson James Douglas Yo, son of Brandy Richards and Ed Matz. Leela Virginia Zorzi, daughter of Annette Juhas. Leela receives a Rhodey Club of Summerside Scholarship and the Arlene Whalen Lafergy Memorial Bursary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the Three Oaks Senior High School graduating class of 2020. At this time, we have completed our ceremony for these students. Staff will now lead students out of the building. I would ask invited guests to please remain in your seats for a moment until the students have exited and staff will come back in to exit you by the zones that you came in. Thank you very much and have a good evening. A celebration.